Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. It's Monday, so we're going to spend fun, some mindful time together. And what I've been doing recently is the project I've been creating on a Tuesday, I've then been adding to my journal on a Monday. Just to give you an idea, and I'm, I'm trying to incorporate different ways that we can add things to our journal and hopefully just inspire you a little bit. And I have to say, it's lovely to get your feedback. And um, there's a couple of emails I've had, and I'm sorry I haven't replied yet, but it is so lovely to just hear from you that it's actually made you want to journal and it's just inspired you. So I am thrilled and thank you for all your feedback. Now, today we're going to put this little piece in. So this is the piece that I made on last Tuesday with the acorn dwelling. But what I'm really excited about is we're going to be doing a little bit of sewing in our journal. Now, if my sister's watching this, she's the one who, who can sew. She's, she made my wedding dress. Um, me, can't sew for toffee. So I'm warning you now, don't judge me on it. But after all, this is my journal. So whatever I create, it's what I, 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 I want. But what's exciting is at Lavinia, we've got some new threads and these are fabulous. And thank you very much, Tracy. Um, some gold and some silver. And I love these. I love adding thread just under designs. But also what we can do is, is sew. Now, I've had a little play and often for me, this is where my two journals, I love working with the two sizes. So this was a, a spare background, you may recall, I made created the other week. And I wanted to see if the paper took the thread well. So I just had a go in my little journal. And that's a way for me of adding extra bits and almost practising. Anyway, it takes it really well. So I'm going to pop that over there. So I've just started, if you'll forgive me, I didn't think you'd want to watch me doing this for long. Oh, and look, our beautiful... Now, we now have the hinge clips and the wire pins from Tim Holtz. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Sir Tim. Now, I took mine out of the packaging and my lovely friend Anne gave me this gorgeous box. I have a thing about Highland cattle. And she gave me this gorgeous box and look, they go in it perfectly. So now, when I want a little... I mean, I think they look like little kilt pins. I'm very tempted to actually put one in my top. Um, and as you know, I love my hinge clips. So there we go. I've got a box of goodies. And what I've done to start off with is, I don't know if you can see, I've actually put my little kilt pin, I'm going to have to call it because that's what they are in my head, in the papers here. And then I've brought my thread down. And yes, it's not quite a straight line. But you know what? This is my journal. So just to show you, how and this is just a normal needle and i'm just the paper this is such good quality paper that it takes the sewing really really well so i'm just going to finish this off so instead of faux stitching which as you know i love to do with my black fine liner pen i can actually create myself look some gorgeous stitching Now, when it comes to the end here, I'm just actually going to bring mine to the back and just finish it off. Now, there's various ways you can finish it off. And for me, I like to leave a little thread anyway. But you can either, if you're worried about it undoing you can always put a little bit of bittity boppity glue our bb glue because it dries clear on there but i'm happy with that and look on the back that's going to be a great addition to whatever i make on this side but i just think that's lovely and something different now you could do a double row and those of you that are clever imagine you could do cross stitch but it's really, this paper is just fabulous. So we haven't got a plan today, apart from I wanted to use my new thread. So I'm happy with that. And I'm thinking we're going to put this on here. No, not in the centre. We're going to put it there. So let's just make, extend this a little. 
So if I come in with my hill masks, and that's just create a bit of bit of background. So I want my hickory smoke, which is what I used. And as always, when I'm journaling, we don't have much space, do we? So if I turn it round this way, and hopefully you can see some of what I'm doing, I'm just going to extend just the landscape a little, just for a bit more, just a bit more interest. So that can go there, and then I'll move that along. And we'll just add some of this side as well. And this ink pad, I want it, um, I'm not putting it in the lid because it's quite obviously a light colour. And I, I know it can take it. So if I put that there, so I'm happy with that. And if I follow this one, this one would go sort of that way. Out that way. And then this one here will go up here. So I can match that up there. And then if I go for my next one, which one did I use? I think, did I use this one? So if I push that there, I think that can take that there. And it's probably just gone out of shot, so I do apologise. But I'll try and slide it back in so you can see. But those of you who are working on the large journal will, will know you need a nice bit of space. And us crafters, we're not known for having a lot of space, are we? So if I move that out. And this is nice and light, so this is in the distance. This is our perspective. So we just, if we're getting this somewhere like this. And then we've got a bit of a mountain just coming down there. Yep. So if I turn this round, let's have a look at what we've got. So this has just built up nicely, that sort of whole feel. And I think we need to add some, some brown maybe. So let's just find our, where's our blender? I think this is the one with the brown. And we used ground espresso for this, didn't we? So we'll put that. It's almost made me have to get a bit tidy when I'm doing my large journal. So let's just add a bit of the ground espresso. And I'm not worried. I mean, you could put a piece of um, copy paper underneath so it doesn't go on any other page. But you know what, I'm not worried because if it tints the page, it tints the page. Now again, you could have done this first and then do your thread after, but you know me, I just wanted to add my thread. So, <laughs> wanted to see what it looked like. And I'm just going to do this on the opposite page as well. Now I'm not sure whether I'm going to take my landscape right across to the other page. I may just do that. So I, ho I hope the rest of you are enjoying these. And, and again, if you're a card maker, you know, all the things we're doing here, um, you, you can maybe bring into your card making. What I love is all sort of like the skill and everything that we do. We, we're sort of bringing it all together. And for me, it's just the relaxing almost, having a play, thinking... So, so this one, I'm going, I mean, a lot of them we do abstract. This is going to be more, so I want that more that way. See, I didn't like that. That's better. Right, I like that. I'm going to flick some water here and that'll just carry on with the faux bleaching. But I'm thinking, should we add a bit of stencil work in the background? Now... Obviously, me being me, I didn't have my stencils ready. So, I'm here now 
looking through my stencils um, and you'll be like me you'll be oh what what can we do what shall we and again there are so many that i adore i think i'm gonna go for this one. Oh, sorry eric i've just put all my stencils on the floor don't judge me so this is dynamic and i'm just thinking some swirls of dynamic will add So do I do it in brown or do yeah I'm gonna stick with the brown and I'm just gonna bring I'll do it in the corner and then we'll see whether we like it or not tone on tone is what I'm thinking then I'm gonna flick some water because I want it to be quite rough I don't want it to be very precise yeah almost a bit like a page from an old book Sort of a vintage feel. And again, let's put this in the middle over the two. Now again, you could use your, your stencil brush for this. It just happens that I have the brown on my blending tool. So... Let's have a... And again, if you're not sure, lift it up. And this is a perfect one because I didn't want too much of a, didn't want a perfect pattern. I wanted quite an abstract area. And look at that. Beautiful. Now, we've got ink on here, haven't we? So let's get our small journal. You could get another page in your large journal. Um, obviously, I just need it to dry. So I'm going to bring my small journal in. This is where Eric gets his shower. So if we just spritz that, and I'm going to take it right across the two and just see what we get. And again, it's, you know, you never know with this, but it'll certainly give me a starting point for either adding another topper or... And again, just let it activate that water. Right, let's lift up. And as that dries, you can see now the pattern. Now, you've still got some on here. So if you want, you can spritz it again and add a little bit, say, in this corner. And although I bet you think, oh, that looks a muddy mess. You, you've made a mistake there, Joe. Remember, there aren't any mistakes. This is just going to be a background. But to be honest, as this starts to dry, you will see. So if I bring this here, can you see now? You can start to see that pattern here. So I'm going to put that on one side to dry. And that is going to be beautiful for just adding a lovely topper there. So I'm going to file that on the floor and we'll go back to this. So now's the point where I just want to add. So my fan brush has been in my water pot and I just want to add some splats of water and I'm doing it on both pages and then we'll let that dry. And that's going to go there. Yeah. What I am going to do, I've decided, is just add a little bit of this scenery going across in the grey. And again, you know, this is what's beautiful about journaling. You just see how you feel, see the way it takes you. Now, I've spritzed water here, haven't I? So it's going to look a bit, but that's fine. Not a problem with that. So I'll just add a wee bit up there, though it's the hills. Yep. Yeah. I'll put the lid on there. Because that way we've got continuity. 
across the two. So when it's dry, that's going to go there. So I'm happy with my seam there. But what I want to add, I want to add something on this side. And what I have made is I've made myself a tag look in a little pocket. And the idea is I'm going to add that here. So what I thought I'd do is I'd show you how I've made this and then we'll put it all together. And again, so I'm just going to put this on the floor while I show you. Now, when you order your Lavinia stamps, are you like me and do you keep the packaging? Because I do, because I'm a crafter, aka collector, we keep everything. So, as you can see, the packet is made, my little pocket, is made out of this. And all I've done is taken, peel this off, and again, I tend to use my heat tool, just helps me. And what I've done, look, is cut the top little bit off here. And then this forms my pocket. And to make my tag very easy, all I've done is I've cut off the heading and then to make the tag bit, you cut one corner and then move that across to the other corner so that they're equal. Best ever way of making a tag this. And then you get yourself a hole punch and punch yourself a hole in the middle. And then, I mean, that's a little chunky tag. But in your journal, you can have any size tags. And that way, we've got a tag and a pocket. And before you ask, yes, I leave all this on the back. Because for me, this is almost like my journaling bit about Lavinia stamps, which I adore. So for me, it's just perfect. Now, just in case you're going to ask, does this take the stamping and the colouring well? Well, it does. So if I show you, let's get one of our beautiful whimsical hairs. Here we go. And, uh, and I'll just show you. So if you've got, like me, a, a pile of all your discarded um, little sort of packages... Here. you know I knew when I kept them that one day I'd find a use for them and now I have so we'll pop him on and again he's a silhouette so give him chance but look at that how beautiful does that stamp now I'll give him a bit of a let's get a clean piece let's try and look professional <laughs> Mind you, it's Monday, it's mindfulness, isn't it? So, do you know what? This is where you see me as I am. So, there we go. And we'll give him a bit of... Where's our landscape? Let's give him a bit of something to sit on. So, again, we'll keep the colours because I want to keep this all tone on tone. Give him a bit of shade there. And just think you can do a tag. So if you've got a topper, you can just make a tag to match on the opposite side. Make yourself a little pocket and add it. And I'm just going to add one of my circle masks to this. And I'm just going to add that there. And again, this hickory smoke is such a lovely colour. There we go. And then, so it, I know, now he needs something to be looking up at, doesn't he? So where's my starlight set? And then we can keep it all matching. So let's just stamp him a little one of these to be looking at. Just off the 
off the page there. Lovely. Again, let's block that. And then I'll show you how well it takes the ink around the edge. So if I come in with my brown again, my ground espresso, and we just start blending the ink. I mean, you've already got some pattern on here, so you're just sort of adding to it. We'll go all the way around. Just wipe that up and dry it. So you can see how this takes it so well. And I'll just come in with my chalk pastel pencils and we'll add some little bit of highlights under his chin where the sun or the moonlight, I should say, He's just catching him. We'll give him a bit of shape there with his hind leg. Gives him just a little bit of personality. Then we'll have a little bit of shade under here. Now again, you can add as little or as much as this. I just want this to be a tag, so I don't want to overcook it. But what I will do is just add a little bit of orange up here, sort of an orangey glow. And again, I'm just smudging it with my finger. That's all I'm going to do to that. And as I say, it's so lovely to create yourself a tag out of that. So back, so that's what I did here. My background here, I just used my hickory smoke and I wanted to make it look more like, um, sort of like a weathered wood tag. So all I've done is we've done this so many times before where we drag the ink pad across about 45 degrees down the tag, turn it round, back up the tag. Just makes a lovely random background. So that's the only difference with this one. And it's got all my lovely Lavinia information on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add some of these lovely um, tassel threads. So let's find the end which ones shall I go for oh I like that because it's got a bit of green in oh I like that one so I'm going to have a bit of that a bit of that and a bit of this orange here so I'll choose those three have to say so look when I do these Monday journaling um YouTube's you know honestly my craft room does look like I've been burgled at the end of it because I have so many products I want to use and it's a lovely way to use things you know test things out in your journal it's like me sewing with the thread I wasn't sure how it was going to look so it's a good time to experiment in your journal and do you know what's lovely it gives you the freedom that it's okay to experiment and if you're sort of somebody who likes everything controlled, it's nice to be able to almost have a play. And nobody's going to judge you on it. Now I just want some white Posca splats on there. So shake my Posca and let's just have... And a couple of larger ones. So that's where I'm going to... Yeah. And in fact, while I've got... My Posca. Let's add some on here because I can add this to my small journal, so that will be lovely. In fact, the background I made, I'll probably add this tag on it, and I'll do that off air. And if I remember, I'll show you next week. But I, this is why I love working in the two. And honestly, I do. I just get so. Even if, dare I say, I'm not in the mood for crafting, when I start, I just get so engrossed in it and I just want to keep playing. But let's bring our large journal page and I think we're ready to stick this in. So, as always, I use belt and braces, which is finger lift tape and the... Bitter tip, BB glue. 
Can't get my teeth around it today. So tape around the edge. Bit of tape across diagonally to hold your card down. And then take the corners back. You know, it's a good time to tidy your craft room and maybe have a look and see if you've got some products you haven't used for a while. Or even, say, like some Lavinia stamps or stencils. Maybe have a go at creating a background with a stencil that you've not used before. And come back to it at another day. So we'll add this now and if I put that there I'm hoping you can see. So I've got wiggle time here to just check. I'm thinking that follows there, that follows. Yeah, I'm thinking we're going to go for that. So I'll find that in the bin. Get my kitchen towel and press it all the way round. I like that. And let's just have a look. So we've got this side here. And I've got my tag and my sleeve. Now, to attach it, I'm going to use some red liner tape. Now, if you're anything like me, the hardest thing with red liner tape is actually finding the end and taking that the backing off. I also, find your scissors because they're under your journal. Stick to my fingers then. I might be sticking my, my fingers in my journal. Right, let's get rid of this. There's what? Don't know about you, but these red bits, they always seem static and they always stick. I try and throw them in the bin and they keep hold on my fingers. Oh, they did, did all right that time. I normally have to use my anti-static bag. So I'm thinking June, that tag there. And obviously the tape, you can only slightly see it, but I'm happy with that because obviously for me, this see-through is not easy. That is going, and I love the threads just poking out of the top. So I'm happy with that. And I need something here. So I've already stamped out, I keep all my pieces of card. And if you're somebody who doesn't, journaling's an ideal time to make you do it. And I just stamp up. And I love this free your inner creativity because I do feel this hair here, he's definitely freed his inner creativity and he's just loving it. So as you know, I like to cut my sentiments up. So... I'll cut and again I'm just using a large pair of scissors and I'm thinking this is gonna look lovely down here just like that and it will tie the two together so we're gonna put on there and again, if you want to just put the whole sentiment on, you can. You can put it at an angle. You can, however you want. You can put it across the two pages. I just want it on this space here. And then find my fine liner. And I'm just going to do, now I've got two, one ran out. And so luckily I always have a spare one. I don't know about you, but I can't live without it. So we'll do the usual bit of a, bit of a border. 
and because I've got the space I want to go more scribbly on this sometimes I just do a straight line don't I but I'm thinking I just wanted more of a, a bit of a scribble around that and I'm going to edge this as well and again if you don't like this part of it don't do it this is it's your journal you add what what you would like and, and that's the beauty of this journaling and again I'm just going to add a little bit around my pocket I think just to tie the whole thing together I'm not going to add it at the top just at the bottom and we'll add a bit of a black line here just to emphasize this and again makes it all part of the design and we're just going to write something along the bottom well we're not actually going to write words or letters we're just going to do now if you wanted to write something you could Practice your signature. There we go. And then the final thing is I want to add our Posca splats. Now, I can't decide. I've got white, so I could add white. But I've also got orange. Will orange spoil it? Do I play safe and go white? Oh, <laughs> do I add orange? Do you know what? I think let's. Got my orange sparkle. What I might do actually is I think I might go for the white splats, but I might just add some orange. So you know when we put it on the on the lid, I just think a couple. I need orange somewhere because I've got the orange there and I just think I need, a mind you I like that, do you know what, I am going to add orange splats, I wasn't going to, I was going to play it safe and then I actually did one by mistake and I like it. So this is these lovely sparkly pens, so again I'm just... Put in the Posca on the lid. So it's almost like the coffee stains. I'll add a couple more. And then one more up here, just in the corner. So you see how that just ties it. And this side, let's work on this side. So, oh, sorry. Oh, sorry, I hit the camera. What am I like? Now, those of you that are going, oh, we don't like that. That's fine. Don't add it to yours. Because, again, it wouldn't do if we were all the same. I, I just, the more I get into this journaling, you know, the more I just feel brave and I want to do things like this. And I like that up there. Right, I'm just going to wipe my lid because honestly, if I put it away with this, but I think that orange just really lifts it. In fact, if we add a bit on there, that'll really tie it in. Right, so that was the orange, the, the sparkly Posca pen. There we go. Mm -hmm. well, I have to say I enjoyed that. I hope you did. Look at that. I'm really chuffed with that. And this, when it dries, it's going to be really sparkly and coppery. And I just love these little additions here. And then this side. There we go. And this border, I mean, it could just like grass. As I say, it's just my writing. And it's my little bit of my art journaling. And there's my tag in its little pocket. And again, we've done our bit of recycling. So thank you for that, Tracy. Mm -hmm. I love that. And there's our lovely pin. And another way of attaching these is using glossy accents. And I'll show you that another week. Because I'm happy with that. Really happy with that. And I'm going to let that dry. 
and then I'm going to my other little tag we made I'm going to add that to my smaller journal and hopefully if I remember I'll show you that next week I'm going to go away and do that now so you take care as always thank you so much for joining me honestly you lot, you are such an inspiration. Your messages, they really warm my heart and they inspire me to want to get creating another page to share some time with you. You take care. Love and hugs from me. And I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, something really exciting tomorrow. <laughs> right, catch you soon. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.